it's even more upsetting to Muslims and human rights activists around the world was the Saudi government's move to partner with an Indian company to manage Hajj pilgrimage bookings, meaning pilgrims from Europe, North America and the United Kingdom can no longer book their travel through independent tour operators, but instead must go through the website matawif.com. This website is owned by an ally and backer of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, an individual who is not only responsible for the mass murder of 2,000 Muslims 20 years ago, but also has brought 200 million Muslims in India and Kashmir to the brink of genocide. I mean, imagine that. The Saudi regime handing exclusive rights for its Hajj pilgrimage booking system to a company that has the actual blood of thousands of dead Muslims on its hands. But this disgusting injustice doesn't end there because dozens of Muslims contacted me during last year's pilgrimage to share with me their individual stories of mysteriously disappeared bookings, tour and flight cancellations, and worse, which I wrote about in this article here. It feels like there are people here that are making money out of this. It's like kind of religious tourism. Some people, for example, weren't able to go because they just didn't have the extra cash. So there was a, a difference in price selection, but also it took me around 26 attempts to pay. The system kept rejecting my payments, even though they've paid. Uh, some people have said that the application is still pending. Other people have paid and they've said it's been rejected or there's been a refund. Other people haven't got their visas or like me, you've paid, you've got your visa. There's still no ticket information and I leave in a few days and we're still waiting for that ticket information. In choosing Matawif, the Saudi regime has effectively turned the Hajj pilgrimage booking system into a lottery, meaning pilgrims are no longer guaranteed a right to travel to Mecca during the Hajj of their choosing. Instead, they must wait to have their number plucked out of a hat. Needless to say, this has caused great heartache and despair for tens of thousands of Muslims in Europe, America and Australia. And many who were scammed and ripped off during last year's Hajj are still waiting for compensation from the Indian owned company. And if all of this wasn't bad enough, then consider this piece of new reporting that shows the CIA used a photo of pilgrims attending the Hajj to illustrate the potential capabilities of new surveillance and artificial intelligence technologies. This image appeared in a presentation by a senior official in the CIA's Digital Innovation Directorate on how the spy agency's shift to cloud-based technologies was transforming its intelligence gathering capabilities. Amazing capabilities in the case of finding people we care about, knowing who they are, what they're doing, their intentions, where they are. We've been able to deliver solutions that in 30 days, not only identify and answer those questions, but allow us to scale that across multiple mission sets seamlessly. That now has become the job of headquarters. What you just witnessed reveals how the US government continues to create and deploy technologies to monitor and track undesirable religious communities, but particularly Muslims. Perversely, these surveillance tools are often sold to the governments of Muslim-majority countries, including Saudi Arabia, to